What up guys, I want to share with you my strategy for buying pieces in Dota Auto Chess. I'm a low bishop player who only plays pubs, so obviously I'm not the best player in the world, but I spend quite a bit of time trying to think about how I intuitively select pieces. And I think I come up with a very simple framework that at least a knight level player should be able to use to get to bishop. I wrote a much more thorough guide on this on Reddit, so please read that first. But let me give you a summary of how the strategy works. This is very simple. Basically, for all the pieces that aren't obviously good or bad, you want to ask yourself a few questions. First, what situations will I play this piece? And if the situation is you'll play it right away, almost always you buy it. Then, for all those situations, emphasizing the most likely one, ask yourself how likely is the situation to occur and how impactful is the piece in this situation. Now, you just do this for all the pieces which uh, you're not sure if you should buy and then you should be able to prioritize uh, you know, at least you know, come up with a good idea for which one you think is the most worthy to buy. Um, when you analyze these different situations, you'll find that it just ends up into these three buckets almost all the time. Either the piece is good enough to play right away, top priority, or you can play it soon. So for example, you're close to getting a level 2 or you're close to getting a synergy, or it could be amazing in the future, like for example, the dragon package. Uh, this is low priority, but a single piece can fall into more than one of these buckets, and that makes it more valuable. So, for example, if you can play Elf in the Mage or the Elf Synergy in addition to the Dragon Synergy, then that makes it more valuable, because you're not just going for that Hail Mary uh, Dragon play at the late game. So, now I want to share with you a game that I played earlier today, and walk you through uh, the decision-making process, uh, so I can explain to you how you can apply this framework when you're selecting your pieces. I'm going to play this video on uh, fast forward so we can skip over a lot of the stuff, but I'm going to stop it right before we select the pieces so uh, we can sort of think things through and maybe uh, I'll catch myself making a, a few bad plays as well because I don't, I don't totally remember what happened in this game. So uh, it should be interesting. Let's get to it. All right, so our first option here, um, in the early game, you play whatever you get, so what you care about is how impactful are they right now. Um, not so much how impactful they are in the late game because they're one cost units, they're not that impactful unless you get them to level 3. Or it's that Shadow Shaman guy because you have the, the 4 trolls, right? But well, Shadow Shaman is very weak right now, so you basically don't need to consider that. And Enchantress also is not that strong. Uh, you could go Enchantress because you think that you'll get 2 Enchantresses. Uh, and then some other druid and get the fast level 2. But that's still some condition you need to meet before it's strong. The bounty hunter and the tinker and the tusks are fine to play immediately. Um, for their synergies. So either it's bounty hunter or tinker. Uh, or, or tusk. And I'm going bounty hunter. Because it's individually the strongest unit. And because goblin mech is the easiest early game synergy to pull off. Checking through the other opponents here. I don't really care too much about what they pick. Uh, it's usually just Goblin Mech or, or Warrior Orc anyways. And I mean, there's enough of those early game guys that it doesn't affect what you'll get to level 2. So definitely Chaos Knight here. Um, we could switch to Warrior Orc by picking with uh, Tusk or Tiny. But Chaos Knight is just so impactful on the board right now. And uh, one thing I like to do, as you can see, is check the other high-level players. This is a rare lobby where we have three bishops. Uh, I play pubs, so I don't see that that often. Maybe I will if I uh, get higher rank. Okay, so second bounty hunter because the level two. Level two is very good. Uh, and then the tinker for the goblin mech. We could have also gone with the orcs, the warrior orcs. That's fine. Um, but I like the two the two bounty hunters. And we do pick up the axe because we have extra gold. It's a free buy. But yeah, the, the fast level 2 plus the fact that the goblin, uh, the bounty hunter is just the strongest individual unit at one cost. I picked that one. Those void stones I usually like to keep for my AoE guys. Uh, so clockwork. Um, and we also take some druids with their extra gold. They're free buys. And it's better than the Witch Doctor, which is only good if you can use it for the synergies. 
Druid's you can get to level 2 fast. And I think I go with Furion and Treon Protector here. If I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we win that. <laughs> yeah. that That's questionable. You might want the Enchantress over Furion. Uh, Furion's not that good at Enchantress you can sell. Enchantress you can sell uh, at level 2 for 3 gold and make some money. Plus, uh, it's one cost, right? So you're more likely to get in early. So CK for sure and Treon. Uh, Treon, you know, it's good right away because you get the level 2. And CK, like CK is also good right away. So we get rid of the mech synergy now because we want the two CKs. So then uh, bring in the, the Valley Hunter. And we're very strong right now because of the two, the two CKs and the level 2. But we still lose, huh? To a guy with terror blade early, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, Anti mage again. I'm not probably not going warriors now. Uh, yeah. A uh, timber saw clockwork. Uh, maybe I level up. I might level up at this point. I think I saw that, huh? I think I saw the axe and the furion, and I level up. And then I play Tinker, and then if I win, I probably win because of the early level up, then I, I get the Clockwork. Wait. No? No, I don't do that. Okay. Um, well, that's fine, I guess. Neither of those are good. Just checking the other players right now. Okay, the bounty hunter and the anti mage. Level two right now. Oh wait. Oh no, I only have two bounty hunters. Never mind. But yeah, the anti mage thing. Uh oh no no. Oh I didn't buy it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two bounty hunters. And then then I level up. Yeah, okay, okay, now I level up. Well, <laughs> I leveled up, but I, di I didn't play it yet. Uh, is that correct? No, right? That's not correct. I mean, I want it. Okay, let's go back a bit here. Yeah. No, what I wanted to do was get the elf synergy. Yeah, so I wanted to get the Elf Synergy, but even so, I should have got rid of the Timber Saw for the level 2 Bounty Hunter. Okay, so that was a mistake, but not in the buying. The buying was right. And that's what we're focusing on for this guy anyway. So the Treant, the Treant, because we want the level 3, which is really strong, and now we, we finally build. I think I might have just ran out of time, that's why. Yeah, I probably just ran out of time. And the rest of these are not that good. So we just buy uh, Ogre, Magi, and uh, Drill Ranger, I think. Drill Ranger for damage, Ogre, Magi for Mage Synergy. Shadow Shaman, again. I don't like it. And uh, no need for the Axe now. The Orc Synergy is not that good in the late game. And, uh, we're not going Warriors. Okay, we have a uh, level 2 Ogre, Magi. Good right now. And also level 2 Clockwork. Good right now. Are they both good right now though? I think we buy the Ogre Magis. But we don't play it. We want to keep the Elf Synergy. And I mean the, the CK is a lot of damage. It's questionable though. Maybe level th 2 Ogre. I think level 2 Ogre Magi is better. It just survives longer and it does quite a bit of like... Decent damage, not as much as CK, but it's still good. Okay, we get the Ogre Magi, and then we get, I think, hmm. I think I sell the Drill Ranger. Get the, yeah, the Tinker and the Ogre Magi. 
Yeah, so the Ogre Magi is not that good because I don't have Mage Synergy. And it's kind of unlikely that I'll reach, you know, that situation where it's really good, level 3. But I take it anyways because it's a free buy because uh, Terrorblade, I mean, I already have two Chaos Knights and Terrorblade I don't like that much because it's not good until it transforms. So it's not good until it gets to level 2. And even on level 2, not that good because it doesn't do damage until it transforms. Uh... Here we can swap out the Ogre Magi's for Lycans, but it's not really that good. So I think we pass. And just don't do anything. Yeah, and that would bring us below the income break as well. Um... So we're currently sitting at second place right now. Uh, all the bishops, two, three, four, bled together. Okay, so here, I think we chill. None of these look playable, even at level two right now. Well, Naga Assassin is, but then Naga Assassin's a three cost and doesn't have the synergy with the uh, the Goblin Mech. So, saving up to get that level 2 probably going to be a while. I'd rather keep my Timber Saw. Um, here is checking out what the first base guy is doing. Uh, as the game progresses, I start switching from just checking out the, the high rank guys to the uh, whoever's leading. So, Lone Druid for sure. So, we picked the Lone Druid. Uh, can we level up here? I think we level up. Yeah. And then maybe we take the... Uh, since I got rid of the Ogre Magi, because, again, level 3 Ogre Magi isn't likely. Yeah, I just get the Lycans. I could have sold it to get the Income Break, but I think level 2 Lycan is still there at this point. You play it over, for example, probably the Clockwork. Am I, do I still have a Timber Saw there? Oh, okay, we have Shadow Fiend, so I get rid of CK. Uh, I want the damage from Shadow Fiend. It's really good. And then it looks like we're going Elves, because we have you know, the Furion Anti-Mage Treon Protector. So that's my Luna. Witch Doctor. I passed over Witch Doctor a bunch of times already, and Slaughter is not playable, even at level 2. There you go, now we're in first place. Hmm. Man, I love that Ogre Magi. Look how happy he is. So TA, TA. Uh, okay, we, we just sold our Chaos Knights. Do we want to get Chaos Knight? No, right? I don't think we even take level 2 Chaos Knight over Shadow Fiend. Because we, we can protect Shadow Fiend with our front line right now. And it'll do more damage. Uh, you have the ult, right? And... We had something else that showed up. Yeah, Crystal Maiden. No, not Crystal Maiden. Crystal Maiden is actually good in the late game, but not that good. And it's pretty bad in the mid game. Oh, we positioned wrong. We should have put the Shadow Fiend up in front. You saw the Shadow Fiend just died. It's fine, it's fine. I'm pretty sure we still win. And I should probably be spending more time looking at the other opponents. Uh, it's got to be information I can extract from there. I usually just focus more on myself, though, and the opponents in the late game. Uh, to see what I can counter and what uh, pieces are blocked. So Shadow Shaman again, no. Slark, no. Batrider, no. So it's just Bounty Hunter as possible. And level 3 Bounty Hunter is unlikely. So we just chill here. This looks like a win, I think. It's kind of dicey though. Ooh, no, we lose. We lose. Oh, that's our win streak. What's good here? Uh, Timber Saw over Slark. And nothing else is good. Yeah, so the, these kind of like, as you can see, there's only like one thing to consider, so you don't even need to 
A lot of times you just do it intuitively. You don't really need to ask all those questions. Like, you know, how likely is this situation? How good is this thing? But when you're not sure of what to pick, it's good to have a framework so that you're not, uh, you know, running out of time or just guessing all the time. Um, the Venomancer has a Warlock synergy with Shadow Fiend, but it's not that good. Oh, Shadow Fiend, we take that for sure. And we take that over uh, probably uh, Furion. Furion's not that good. Or Luna. And also, oh, I think we take Phantom Assassin too. Assassin Elf. So we get rid of Luna, and we get rid of Furion. Oh no, we level up. Yeah, we level up. We play Timbersaw to get the mech synergy back. Oh wait, we <laughs> I tried to play Timbersaw to get the mech synergy back. And then uh, I failed. And then because of that, we might lose. Yeah, because of that, would we have, okay, maybe we would have lost. Okay, we were playing against the, the first place guy now, so so possibly we would have lost anyways, but yeah, that, that was kind of that was kind of shitty. So uh, do we do anything here? Huh, okay, so actually I played the Phantom Assassin for the, because uh, it has the Assassin, it gets the Assassin synergy, and also already has the Elf synergy. And I played Puck for the Elf synergy, it's unlikely I'm gonna get uh, the the dragon combo at this point though. But I mean, if we get it, it's really good, of course. There you go. Okay, we redeemed ourselves after that uh, fail moment. Ooh, so the triants. Uh, we want the triants, and. We want to collect the four druids so we can level up the triants to level three possibly without getting the another triant. So we get rid of, uh, so we level up, okay. Then we get rid of the puck for the other triant, and then maybe we get rid of the tinker now, right? Our, our goblin mech is not as strong in the late game, and we're not going for the full goblin mech, anyways. It looks like because we don't even have level two timber, level two, uh, level two tinker. Yeah, yeah, and terror blade not that good. Not not a huge fan. Of oh shit! I probably just positioned incorrectly for this. Uh, I'm actually not sure. I think I I need to learn how to fight the NPCs properly. Actually, I don't pay too much attention on that. But uh, yeah, okay. So we got the last Trion Protector. Got level three. That's really good. And that'll that'll probably yeah that that lasts us till the late. I remember that. Just to give you a spoiler there. Um, Bounty, yeah, could be level 3, but not really that great. And then Crystal Maiden's okay. Do we sell to get to the next uh, income break? No, right? Because everything is good, except for Furion, but Furion is not enough. So we buy the Bounty and the Crystal Maiden. Just giving uh, damage items to the Shadow Fiend. Oh, there's a level 2 Shadow Fiend. And we take the Luna. We take the Luna. We want the Elf. The rest are unplayable. Because we have Luna, Abaddon is actually not unplayable. And also we could get Undead Synergy because there's like Necrophos, Lich, Enigma, stuff like that. But I actually don't think we... Yeah, we just sell off a thing to get to the next income break because it's not really that good. Even. Like we, we, we would rather have like the Undead Synergy just come up because we got those 5 cost, 4 cost guys. Okay, here. Is anything good? No, so we just chill. Oh, uh, we're at 50 gold. Uh, okay, we actually might level up. We might level up and then play... Uh... Okay, we play Timbersaw. I'm not sure if that's correct. I mean, we get Goblin Mech now. So I guess that's good. I mean, we could also play Lone Druid. But I think, yeah, probably getting Goblin Mech is better. Yeah, getting Goblin Mech is better than uh, just Lone Druid level 1. I mean, yeah. We're in the lead again. I actually wasn't paying attention. I'm not sure when we uh when we took it back. Anything good here? Uh, not not really. Necrophos probably for Warlock. Anti Mage for level three. Tinker for level two. Assassin. The Slark's not a good assassin. We already have three. Um. Yeah, we don't take Anti Mage because level three Anti Mage is unlikely. We'd rather just have the gold. 
Usually, you'd rather just have gold to reroll in the late game for a level 2, 4, and 5s. Instead of trying to go for a level uh, level 3, like those low cost guys, which are unplayable if you, you know only have 2 level 2s. Uh, nothing... Uh, oh, there's Phantom Assassin. We take Phantom Assassin. We take the Wind Ranger too. Wind Ranger over maybe Necrophos because we don't have the Warlock. Oh, do we get? Yeah, I think we should have got rid of Necrophos. But then again, Luna is not really that great either. So it's questionable. Like individually, Necrophos is better than Luna, but we have Elves already. So I mean, the situation that we play Luna is more likely. Unless you say the the Warlock or the Undead synergy is good enough without getting Necrophos level two, which is which is you know arguable. You could say that. I think if you get both of them, then it's definitely enough to play level one Necrophos. So okay, that that could be good. Uh, Tide Hunter. Okay, we we scrapped the because we we didn't get the level two Goblin Max early enough, so we're not going for that like the full combo with the four Goblin Max. So and we have to take Tide Hunter right because Tide Hunter the AOE you have to prioritize AOE in the late game. Uh, so not Terrorblade because we have Shadow Fiend and Shadow Fiend level 3 is unlikely. Troll Warlord is damage, but we have the Assassins and the Elves, we don't really need Troll Warlord. Oh, so I just take uh, Shadow Fiend just because uh, I could. Probably sell it. I'm pretty sure I sell it off later. Well, no, actually, I'm sure I sell it off by the end of the game, but I'm not sure how soon I do. Lone Druid. And, uh,. Oh yeah, we level up the Phantom Assassin, uh, we level up the Lone Druid, and we take the Medusa. All good characters, we have the gold to spend and the slots to, to do it. So, simple decisions there. Uh, we can get rid of the Ogre Magi at this point, we're not, we're not getting mages, it doesn't look like. Oh, we just melted them, this poor shark. This poor shark. Yeah, 29 gold, we don't buy those garbage pieces. Taking a look at my competition here, so the other bishop guy got to, you know, just, uh, got to rank two. Ooh, looks like they all suck. But we take the enchantress, I think, because uh, we want level three lone druid. So we take the enchantress. Or do we just not take the Enchantress and we want the gold? It looks like I just wanted the gold here. Yeah, I, I yeah, cause, cause we're still a bit away. Yeah, I only have one lone, like level two lone druid, right? Yeah, so so I'm still a bit away from level three. So I just I just don't take the Enchantress. Yeah, that's correct. That's correct because it's it's better to get the re rolls. The re rolls will get me uh, better pieces. And as you can see, I got Gyro Techie, so that's nuts, right? And that gives me that lets me keep my mech synergy even. Uh, I lose the Goblin Synergy though, but that's fine. Goblin Synergy is very meaningless in the late game. Because it's flat, uh, you know, regen. But I just got destroyed by the second place guy. Why? Why? Huh. I'm not totally sure there. Yeah, sometimes it's kind of hard to tell. But I mean, that's why I'm still, uh, well, in this game, I'm still Bishop 1. Uh, yeah, something to go over in another video. Here I messed up the positioning. I forgot it was lizards. I shouldn't have put a bunch of guys right in front of the lizards. But it doesn't matter. The Blink Dagger, that's a funny item. I don't think it's really that great. I mean, the assassin jump anyway, right? It just makes the assassin jump faster. I guess you can also put it on like an AOE guy if you want to take a bunch of damage. The sniper I'm doing because I have the uh, the tide and the medusa, but it's not that good. I just bought it because it's free buy. Oh, the gyrocopter there. The techies bomb is misplaced, which happens a lot. I'm not sure how to get techies to work well or work consistently that is you just put it in the front line gyro though works better 
uh, it doesn't just randomly throw the brawn right in front of it. So we chill here and get the uh, get our interest. Anything good? Nothing good. We reroll. It's level ten. Medusa. Tide. Right. We don't have we only Luna is playable, and it's not that good. Right. Level two guy. Oh, the tide was good. And we're good. Oh, was that was that the techies bomb? Okay, that was yeah, this techies man. Okay, level three Shadow Fiend's not happening, but uh we're getting close to level two Gyro and Techies. And we want the Enigma too, so the anti mage is not coming back in. If you get anti mage to level three, you can like do some funny positioning stuff, try to shut down like the opponent's tide or other AOE guy by positioning it right in front of it. But then sometimes, right, they it's hard to keep track of where where they're putting their guy. And also, right, you, wouldn't you rather just have like a, your own AOE guy instead of trying to counter theirs? Oh, we do so level three, and we just take the lich too because it's really strong at level two. Oh, and level two gyro too. Very obvious decisions here. At this point, we have such a big. Well, we had, we've been leading for so long that like you know we have lots of rerolls at level ten. So. That's what you want to play for, right? You want to play for lots of late game rerolls, not just trying to randomly get a level three. From your uh, early game guys. Anything good? No. Reroll. Anything good? No. Reroll. Techies. Oh, Templar Assassin too. Yeah, that's really good. Here we're just completing our team. So the playable dudes are like when we get those, uh, you know, guys to level 2. We could probably replace the uh, Goblin, the Warlock, uh, the, the, I mean the, the Bounty Hunter at this point, but it's okay. I think I missed position again for this thing. Uh, yeah, I gotta look up some guide for how to play the NPCs properly. Took the Troll Warlord because it's free, but I don't even think we played. We probably played over the Bounty Hunter. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, so I got rid of the, the Assassin. Synergy farming. I mean, only affecting those three plus like our damage is not primarily coming from them. It's not that good. The Konka is good though. Konka is a good. The AoE might not be as good as let's say Medusa for a four cost thing, but then it tanks as well and does more damage, I think. Might have taken the Fury. I mean, the Fury is just a free buy, so maybe just take it if you can get level 3 Lone Druid, right? We have. Okay, uh, I'm just trying to do stuff as fast as possible. Yeah, I probably should. Yeah, I should have taken the Fury, because. But then maybe if I took the Fury, I wouldn't have had enough gold to get the Lone Druid. Or would I? Well, it's not important at this point. Like, that, that's just like a minor thing. Or is it? Yeah, it is. Because we would still need the Enchantress as well. Get the early level for the Lone Druid. The early level 3. Nothing. Here, I mean, if like your opponent's playing Dragon, you might take Dragon Knight just to like, block them. But they're not. They're playing Elves. And I'm okay like doing Elves versus Elves, because like I had so much lead throughout this game. Right? I have more rerolls in the late game. So elves versus elves, but I have the better rest of the team. Except we're getting destroyed here. That's not good. Yeah. I haven't actually taken a good look at what the opponent's team is besides elves. Not sure why we're getting destroyed. Uh, okay, we're locking this. Uh, but really, we just want tide. That's questionable. Maybe we should have just not locked it. Maybe we should have just not locked it because we want the tide, right? Or the Enigma. Okay, oh. I think I end... Yeah, so I was about to lose that one, but then we still win because he lost. 
uh, not the greatest way to finish, but I mean, hey, I mean, I had to show you uh, like a full game, right? Um, so hopefully that helps. I mean, I understand that I didn't totally follow my framework throughout this video, but I mean, you can't follow it like for every single piece. It's just a general guideline that like you want to keep in your mind. Uh, a lot of times you just rely on your intuition and you know, once you've done like asking yourself those questions, what situations is this playable? Uh, you know, how likely are these situations? How impactful is the piece in the situation? You start doing more and more stuff intuitively. And I mean, I'm doing it like, you know, I I'm slowly improving at this as well. As you can see, I just, I just reached Bishop 2 in this game earlier today. So um, thanks very much for watching this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I really like making it. Uh, please subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, this is my first auto chess video, but I'd love to make more. So uh, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.